Hi guys. Welcome back to Watching Lily Doing Things. I am back to talk about a whole lot of new makeup. I mean a lot. So the new makeup we're going to be talking about is Makeup Revolution, which is I believe a Relove collection. We're going to be talking about all these goodies. So I did get a lot of palettes and a lot of blush palettes. And as well, I'm going to be talking about the XX Revolution's Hydra Slit. I'm going to give you guys a little info about that. And we do have the lippies from the Relove. So I did get about four, two balms and two glosses. So we're gonna get right on into all of these. But of course, before I jump all the way into these goodies, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, which is Nelly doing things. And also don't forget to leave a comment below. And as well, don't forget to hit that notification button while you're down there as well. So guys, let's get right on into these goodies. So I did buy the XX Revolution. This is the Hydro Slick. I really, really want to try this because underneath my eyes, guys, I get very dry. And then also here, Texas heat makes it even more drier. And I also just wanted that extra hydration. And I read up on it a little bit and I was like, that sounds nice, that, especially for my eyes, but even just my T-zone, I think that would be nice to kind of control a lot of the oil I do have in my T-zone, which I wish it went to my eyeballs, but that's besides the point. On the Hydro Slick, it actually does have like a reflective, what is it, like a water, like a water kind of mark. It's all this water on there, it's very hydrating. It does have kind of like an iridescent kind of film over the top of the box. This has hyaluronic acid and bee balm leaf extract. It's a herbal ingredients traditional used to moisturize. So when you open this, it does open from the back. Your little wand. I like this. It's very, very simple. It just is a hydro swipe. It does have the XX Revolution at the top there. And also at the bottom here, it has this little kind of pushy thing right here. See, it's really cool. And then when you open her, top comes off and then you do get this kind of like just a stick. But yeah, the inside does have just that white inside of it. That's all the products. This packaging, the whole packaging of the physical product is a little more underwhelming compared to the box that it comes in. So with the eyeshadow palette, y'all, these actually are very, very cute. I did get all of these on the Maker Revolution's website. They are all $3, but I did have a coupon and they end up being like $2.39, which is not bad for an eyeshadow palette. You know what I mean? So this was even cheaper than e.l.f. And this gives you more colors in the e.l.f. palettes. So this is pretty good. I was like, ooh, $2.30 some cent. I, I'll take it. And I want some more. So I did get three. I think there is about seven maybe of them, but I did get three of them. I did get this one that I have on right now. My eyes is Dreamer. So with Dreamer, it is a very, very cool. It just has the big old Dreamer name in the front. They do give you six colors all in these little cute little palettes. These are very thin, not too heavy of a palette. So if you're thinking like, is it heavy? Is it bulky? Is it just cheap? It doesn't feel cheap. The packaging is just very simple. Mine has a pretty six shades in there as well. And then on the back, it does show you guys like the one, two, three, four, five, six. It kind of just breaks down the how many colors you get. Motivates a very neutral looking palette. I like it. So this is all the colors for Dreamer. Yes, pretty, pretty, pretty. And then we have Mindful. All those colors. Last but not least, we have the Motivate. Pretty, pretty colors. For the price range, these are a very, very cute packaging. They don't feel too cheap, but you are getting your money's worth. Blushes. Now y'all, I did get four blushes from that collection. I believe they had six colors, six to maybe seven colors again. I did get all the four that I feel like would show up on my skin tone, and even one that's kind of maybe questionable. But anyways, I'm gonna start from the darkest one to the lightest. I end up getting Wishful, Baby, daydream and queen so wishful i like it too this one does say it's a duo blush and highlighter it's just pretty much they blushed on all of these i wished on these they actually did have the name just like the palettes i like that but they all just say blush duo uh, blush and highlighter on it there's baby he's cute and then we have daydream cute 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 and last but not least we do have queen very cute very very cute the left side is blush and the right side is a highlighter. So they do give you two in one deal. And then this one is baby, cute. This one is daydream, pretty, pretty. And again, we have queen. Again, packaging is not too heavy, doesn't feel too cheap, but it is, remember it's under $5. So these two, I did get the Tropic Baby and Coco Nutty. So coconut and the pineapple tropical kind of scented one. 
these are very cool these are just typical squeeze bottle balms they do have the white little twisters at the bottom put some on your finger on a brush and throw it right on and this packaging is just very simple very little simple squeezy bottle nothing too crazy about it but it is still cute and then i did get two baby glosses these are so cute you see they look like a little white topper we have the glosses right there the big baby gloss uh, print on the front it's just so cute and little and i like that they call them baby gloss it's very very fitting so i did get the shade cream this is a nice nutty kind of brown pretty cute 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 and then i did get wonder this is that chocolate brown very very pretty you guys know this channel i love me some chocolate brown nudes a nice little nudie color but this packaging i want to talk about this one definitely too because there's so many and they're so little they're so little and cute i actually did three looks and i used four blushes and i used four lip products including the hydro swipe for the face for the skincare before the tutorial so i am going to get right on into it guys if you guys want to get this look and multiple other looks and try out these palettes virtually just stay tuned.
All right, y'all, so I am back. I know that was a lot, but let's dig right back on into it. So starting with skincare again. So with the Hydro Slick, let me just get right into it. I keep calling it Hydro Slick, Hydro Swiped, my bad. It smells so good and fresh. Now with this, when I do roll it on my hand, it's very cooling, I can feel it. It has a little slickness to it. I do like the feel of it. It's not heavy, sticky at all. And when I even put it on the top of my hand, it's like, ooh, moisture. And I like it, it does stretch out. It's not too oily, it's not too watery. This kind of reminds me of a water balm, if that makes sense. I did put this on under my makeup. I did put it just on bare face, as you guys seen earlier. I feel like did it hydrate underneath my eyes? Most definitely. I used it more on my nose and underneath my eyes because I feel like lately my under, well, especially my nose, I feel like, yeah, I need it. Cause I'm wearing a mask when I go out and work out and I just feel like it's just like making it drier in some way. But then underneath my eyes, I always had that. So I was like, well, let me use this just for my eyes, but I end up using it for my T-zone. Definitely, definitely on my nose too. So that was kind of funny that I was like, hmm, you try it on my nose and it smells good. So I kind of want it near my nose. <laughs> this did cost about $20. I don't know how I feel about $20 for this. I feel like this easily could have been a 10, 10 situation. I understand the skincare aspect in it and the things that they have in it. I just feel like the amount of moisture or the payoff, I feel like it does its job, but I feel like is it $20 worth? No. That's just my opinion. That's why I paid even on a discount as well. That even before that, it's even more than that. And I'm like, does it worth that? No, and it's not worth the 20 to me. In my opinion, this is really a nice product, but I just feel like $20 for a little watery kind of bomb. I'm gonna do my workout and I'm gonna see it underneath my eyes, nice and moisturized and not dry like it usually can be. So I'm gonna do the final test tomorrow and see what it's about. But I think from my experience of just doing it right now, putting it on, I felt like, hmm, it was okay. It didn't do nothing too crazy. And it didn't do nothing bad or suck either. But it is very balmy, but it does dry down on the skin quicker than I thought it would. But then your skin is still glossy. So it's, it's nice. It's just not $20 nice, you know. So with the eyeshadow palettes, um, I'm gonna tell you right now, all of these, the Dreamer and Motivate palettes were all mattes. And then the Mindful one had one shimmer and the rest were all mattes. Mindful, the shimmer and this light lilac pinky situation, very pigmented. They have this disgusting taupe in there. I don't know why I thought on the website, I thought oh, it was gonna be a little darker, you know, I don't know. I should know, don't play around with that because I hate that color. Uh, me and taupe, I don't like her, we're just not friends. Everything else over here, the look that I got with this was unexpectedly very pretty. So I was like, mm, I may hate that color, but all the rest was hidden. And that's why I got it as a wild card. It looks different from the rest of the palettes. So I was like, let me try it. Let me just try the other colors I know for a fact I'm gonna like, or know for the fact I'm gonna try. It's a different kind of mini little palette. I've never had a mini palette have like that pop of lilac pink with black and brown and cream. And just look at that little pop of color there. I like that type of pop of color. That's, cause usually people do blue, but they did a lilac pinky color. That's interesting. So this one came out actually unexpectedly good. That look I had, I really liked it. So this one's a cute little palette to have. Motivate, I got it because she's a neutral palette. I want to see how pigmented this thing is, period. So this one was the first one out the gate to try out the look. It was cute. I feel like, again, traditionally, this is so many colors and so many millions of palettes that I've already had, and I feel like everyone has it. So this one, I wasn't too impressed by it, but I have to say, anybody that needs a palette to throw in a bag for work or they love a neutral look and it's just something convenient just to throw on and go, this is the perfect palette, perfect. No shimmers to get everywhere, just some matte. Light hues, dark hues, very, very pigmented. But overall, like I said, this palette is really good for people that just wanna go that with a neutral look and nothing too crazy. Again, anything for this amount that you pay three bucks is very worth it. Again, it's even cheaper than Elf, so can't hate that. But for the neutral girls, you'll love it. Last but not least, I have her own. This is Dreamer. I love me some Dreamer. I seen this one, I said, that's a wild card. Cause mine feels like a neutral, random one. This one is the wild card. I was like, I like that. I like Dreamer. Every single color is pigmented. Even the yellow, the yellow got me popping. I love it. The blue and orange is very, very good. That blue is very good. You guys can see I popped right there in the middle. Very, very good. That white is a little more pigmented than I thought it would because it kind of looks like an eggshell white, but it is very pigmented. Of course, black is gonna be pigmented. So 
I did use every single color on my eyes with each and every one of these palettes, even the ones that you didn't see a tutorial with. I did use every single color because they're just six colors and I have an eyeball, two eyeballs. So I can fit six colors on it. But this one, I couldn't wait to use every single color. I was like, I gotta try it out. This one is my one of my favorite ones. I don't have a palette that's set up like this either, like a mini one at all. So I think this is really quiet. I got, I'm not gonna lie, I bought these palettes just to get to this one. But unexpectedly, the mindful one, but this one still hits. So I think girls that like the color and like wild cards, you'll love this palette. All right, let's move on to the blushes and highlighters. Ooh, y'all can't wait. Woo! I've been waiting to talk about these, honey. I was thinking that I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this brand. I said, I really want the blushes and highlight though. I said, the palettes are cute. The lippies are very cute. I said, but I wanna try them blushes. Let me see them blushes real quick. I'm actually quite surprised how much of a glazed donut I looked so quickly with these. And we love looking like a glazed donut. We like these Krispy Kremes in this household. These are very, very good. Wishful, baby. I think these two are my favorite and they are like the deepest, darkest ones. I loved these. The highlighter with the combo of these are gorgeous. This one's that deep cranberry and that goldy highlighter. Uh, it's so beautiful by itself, mixed together. It's like, so pretty, it's so pretty. The blushes in these actually, they are very buildable, even though this color is very, very deeper, but you can still build it up with the right type of brush and just being very light-handed. The highlighter, you can do that too. These are very, very light when you want it to be, but then they're really pigmented if you want it to be. This is really good. A very buildable highlighter and blush, and they're again, $3, it's really, really good. I love this. And then the baby one, this one, huh? This one together is gorgeous on a neutral face. Y'all, I'm gonna be doing a lash video and I'm definitely gonna be wearing this. I'm just gonna tell y'all right now because that this is just beautiful. I loved this one. I think the first one, Wishful, I was like, oh, I'm gonna love that one. I know. This one is like your everyday bronze, blushy highlight situation. It's so beautiful. This one is so pretty. I was like, Oh man, I, I should have known because I was like, these two I'm gonna like probably both. But this one really, really hit better. It's just, it's just that good neutral, but it adds that pop and glow. And it was so pretty. It, I kept looking at my cheeks, even off the of camera. I was just like, my cheeks are very pretty. This is so pretty. So the girls are like the neutral kind of glow. You'll love this one. Daydream is very, very pretty. She is that deeper corally color with a very bright gold highlighter. This one is really, really pretty and really good when you have like, um, it's like when you have like a bright, I'm gonna say like a bright, vivid teal or like greenish kind of dress on and your hair is all out it has that look has that like sun-kissed beach look like you're walking on the beach with a nice maxi dress and sandals on I'm telling you this blush highlighter like it's so soft but it hits again this is very buildable but at the same time she has a punch to her because this is like that deep rich coral i feel like this one again is in the neutral family but she can be a very very force to be reckoned with this blush and highlighter color combo can be a soft one, but then she can pack a punch. Last but not least is Queen. I have Queen on right now. She is a buildable. She is very soft on my skin tone. I did get her as the wild card because I said, you know, let me see if this shows up on my skin. And she does. She's very, very soft and subtle. I feel like the highlighter is definitely the one showing through. We kind of can tell that. I don't have a lighter orange like this. So I was like, let me try it. I have a feeling this will look beautiful on me when it's winter time again because I'm going to be hibernating again. My skin now, I've been outside and it's like I'm getting bronzed to the heavens and I feel like this is like, oh, I'm a little too light for you right now. And I feel like this one is really good for the girls who are very soft, but if you are a lighter complexion, a very lighter tan, I feel like this may be very, very warm on you. But on me, it was just a soft baby blush. Now, the highlighter. As you can see, she means business. All these highlighters and these palettes are hitting hitting amazingly. This palette is very cute, very, very soft hearted. So if you like a very soft, 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 like corally salmon kind of color of a blush. Like if you want a peachy highlighter that throws punch, you'll like this then, you'll like this palette. Glam Bombs, Coco Nutty and Tropic Baby. So with these, I noticed the texture of them are very, I feel like they put a lot of petroleum in there. Oh, they have a little bit of that kind of wax in there. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, they have another one too, yeah. This one has a little bit, mm, that waxy feeling to it. I thought it was petroleum, that, mm, that's not good. But I thought it did, so that 
kind of the texture is not so the best but the scent in these and how much you get and how much affordable it is it's really good the scent in these are almost edible like literally they smell so good but the texture on your lips you're not gonna wanna lick the texture. You're not gonna like that. So I put one of these underneath my mask when I was working out and I kept smelling the coconut and I put a little bit of pineapple. I just kept, well, I call this pineapple, but I kept smelling the coconut and then I had a little bit of the Tropic Baby one. I just kept smelling it in my mask. So now the inside of my mask smells like coconut and like pineapple and stuff, which is a great thing. So last but not least are the baby glosses. These are so cute. Cream, like I said earlier, she's a nutty brown. I like this one a lot. She's very more pigmented than I thought. I can't wear this by herself. I need a little liner, a little something, or maybe a little dab in the center and then put another gloss on top to just blur it out. This is very, very pigmented. These little things pack a punch. I was like, Ooh, I did not know that. I'm very happy that they do though. Cause this is like, oh, this is so cute. It's like, this is what I need. Like a little punch in a bag you know what i mean like this is so so cute last but not least guys it is going to be the wonder one you guys already know chocolate brown i love it i did put wonder in the corners of my mouth and then i put the cream all in the center i like this combo of a lip i feel like this again is very chocolate very pigmented this is a good chocolate brown so i got these two glosses just to get to this one but then the cream one was kind of looking at me. I was like, oh, I can put those together. And I was right. I already knew this was going to be very cute. They do have the cute little applicators in these. So everything is baby small. It's so cute. And also, this does have a smell. But it's like a nice little creamy smell. It's not too overpowering or anything. Now, if you do about three to two swatches of this on your lips, it's going to be overwhelming. You're going to have to take off a layer or two. So again, one swipe alone, you're, it's very pigmented. I would build it up like one and a half way. Not even two. That'd be too much. So... You do get your money's worth with these cute. So overall, you guys, with the Relove, their new collection for the lippies, the blush, and the palettes, I feel like these are definitely worth it, especially people that want to build up a makeup collection. I feel like that's very, very good. It's very affordable. I think all of this probably would cost if you bought everything like, what, 100 bucks for every single color of everything category. That's not bad at all for how many colors in the whole collection. People that love palettes, I would say buy them all. Try them all. You can get them for two or three bucks only. Try them all. People that like the blush and highlighter like I do, pretty much buy them all. Glosses, I say buy all those little baby glosses right now because those are very pigmented for the price they are and the size. You get your money's worth out of those big time. So join the bandwagon and get on with the team because these are cute and they're for you know? And the Hydro Swipe, y'all, I feel like skincare wise, I want something more. I want something more richer, more... I guess a little thicker i guess or something that's just more hydrating because i feel like it's doing it but i still feel like it's kind of sitting there on my skin so i think that one twenty dollars like i said earlier is worth it to me no however the skincare versus the makeup the makeup one in this instance you're gonna like it it's gonna be definitely worth it especially if you spend only like 10 bucks to get a few little items you'll like it so guys again thank you for watching me which is nelly doing things and guys don't forget to like subscribe to my channel which is nelly doing things and don't forget to leave a comment below. Let me know out of the whole collection, what is your favorite? Are you ready for this new collection? Do you think they're good? Have you tried it yourself yet? Leave a comment below and let me know. And guys, don't forget to hit the notification button before you go. And you guys already know what I'm about to say. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Bye.